Now, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has accused Iran of lying and terrorist cooperation by supporting Russia's war in Ukraine. It comes after Tehran admitted it had supplied drones to Moscow, but insisted there was no evidence they'd been deployed in the conflict. The West believes Russia has used the drones to hit key infrastructure targets in Ukraine. Sylvia Lenin-Spence has the story. Wave after wave of drone attacks raining down on Ukrainian cities far away from the front lines. Russia's campaign to devastate Ukraine's power grid has left millions without electricity. It's also raised questions about the origin of the weapons being used. And after weeks of denials, Iran has finally made an admission. The drone part is correct. We provided a limited number of drones to Russia many months prior to the Ukraine war. Iran still claims it is neutral in the conflict, but Ukraine's President Zelensky has accused Iran of lying about the true extent of its involvement. We shoot down at least 10 Iranian drones every day. We are certain that Iranian instructors have been teaching Russian terrorists how to use these drones, yet Tehran remains completely silent about it. The Shahed 136 drones in question are known as kamikaze drones, named after the Japanese suicide pilots in World War II because of the way they are completely destroyed on impact. And their impact has been devastating. In just the past month, a third of Ukraine's power stations have reportedly been destroyed. As a consequence, rolling blackouts and restrictions on electricity have been imposed just as winter arrives. The US, EU and UK have all imposed sanctions on Iran. But some analysts believe Iran's leaders are willing to accept this punishment as part of a broader geopolitical strategy. It wants to show to the Western alliances that it has the capability and it can impact beyond the region in the Middle East. They are looking for leverage over Europe and the US from this uh, drone export. Iran has claimed that it won't remain indifferent if there is irrefutable proof of its drones being used in Ukraine. But this latest confession may only bolster the impression of Iran as a destabilizing force in global security. Sylvia Lennon-Spence, BBC News.